New at 10 o'clock tonight, solving crimes in Tyner may be a little bit easier soon. The city council just gave the police department about $300,000 for a new crime lab. KETK's Frank Jefferson got an inside look and shows us how they're spending that money. What you see on your screen used to be AT&T, and for the last few months, the Tyler Police Department had their eye on the downtown building and plans for it. It's hard in the current, in the current situation that they have to work more than one case at a time. Now, with a $275,000 donation by Tyler City Council, this facility will be built to solve cases, operating as a full-fledged crime scene unit. And you don't want to contaminate evidence. They are very cautious about that. So that's what that new lab does. And now they have the space. This room will be where our crime scene investigators have their offices. It will feature a state-of-the-art lab to bring answers to both past and present cases. This project is about more than just improving investigator space. It's also about improving their equipment. And right here, they're going to have a fuming chamber that's going to uncover fingerprints. And it's going to end up being taller than me. But if we walk over to the old lab, they're doing that same work using a fish tank. Even the parking garage will be put to good use. Here, they'll be able to utilize special lighting to discover important evidence that one day might be presented in court. And to be able to do the best processing of a car from a crime scene that probably we've ever been able to do. This move to a new facility is freeing up space for many units back at police headquarters. There's not a part of that building over there that at some time or another doesn't uh, increase our capability allowing officers to solve more cases and continue their work to keep crime off the streets of Tyler. Frank Jefferson, KETK News. Know this renovation is already beginning to the building is set to be done sometime in the month of October.